Every time you send emails to your subscribers or just call the email your potential customers, you want to make sure it goes to the recipient's inbox and not the spam or promotions uh, folder. So let me show you a tool that helps you warm up your email address, which improves your email deliverability, especially if you're starting out with a fresh email, so that you can be assured your emails reach the inbox. Hello internet people, my name is Robert and I help creators with the tech side of their business. So let me show you the tool. So this is software called Warmup Inbox. I'll leave a link in the description and it works pretty simple. You just connect it to your email address and then you can use it. You can see that I've been using it for I think in the last three weeks or so and it's been analyzing my uh, performance. So here you have average reputation score and for example out of uh, 350 emails that I've sent out, uh, one ended up in spam. And these are not uh, real emails that I've sent out. This is the emails that uh, this software has sent out to its own inboxes. And I'm going to explain how it works in a second, but I just wanted to show you how it looks like under the hood. So if I look at my inboxes here, you can see that I have two different uh, emails here. And if I click into one of them, uh, you can see for the last two weeks here, this is my reputation score. Uh, and you can see that they're pretty much uh, the same for all of the email providers, Google and Outlook. And this is how many emails have been sent in two weeks. Uh, so here, 24 eight, uh, emails have uh, ended up in the category and this and these are basically the tabs that uh, Gmail has like the promotions, socials and forums and things like that. Uh, this is 4% ended up there, which is not good because to me that's pretty much same as not being viewed basically. Personally, I never check the promotions tab. I don't know how many of you actually do it as well. If we talk about how they achieve this, how can they improve your email deliverability? Well, basically they take over your email in, in a sense. And and then they send out emails to your inbox and then they send out emails from your inbox to their own network of inboxes. So different emails basically. And they say they have 20,000 plus real inboxes that they can use. And then they start mimicking as if you are, you know, uh, as if your email is something they want to see. If it ends up in spam, they'll drag it to the normal inbox or mark it as not spam. If it goes to promotions, they will uh, drag it out from there, make it, uh, uh, you know, email is important. Just sending signals to email providers like Gmail and Outlook that this uh, this is a legit uh, email and it's uh, actually interacting, sending out a lot of emails. And this way you just improve your deliverability because they're sending these positive signals to uh, Gmail and Outlook. And if you look at my Gmail, these are all the emails they send out. And there's a lot of them uh, in there. You see like in a day they send out 20, 30 emails and all of them have this code. So you can click create a filter and then just send them or filter them out into one uh, label or another sort of folder. And then you start getting all of these emails. Now, when I looked at the, these emails, some of them look really legit in terms of like they even had a picture and everything. But for example, this one I think is just AI generated or I don't know who writes them, but I'm pretty sure it's nobody, like not a real person wrote this. And hey, if you need any help with your newsletter or email setup, you can book me for a call and we can go through your questions and fix any issues you have. I'll leave a link in the description. So who should be using this service? Well, I would say anybody who has a new email address and is about to send out a lot of emails, be that a newsletter, maybe you imported a, you know, your email list and you're using another email to send now uh, you know, your new newsletter, or if you're just sending cold emails and uh, you wanna reach your customers, then this is perfect for you. I would definitely give it a try. Uh, it should improve your deliverability just because you can work up your email. Now, if we talk about when you need to use this platform, it's probably in the beginning. So when your email is new and you're just starting out uh, and they actually recommend that you have one month uh, leeway before uh, you start uh, really sending emails to your uh, to your cold emailing or to your newsletter so that there's time for the warm up. Now, obviously they will say more time than you actually need, but it, it, there is some time that you need to build up before you can really blast thousands of emails a day. Now, once you start sending out a uh, regular emails and you've done this for a month or two that probably the service is less needed for you unless you see really low open rates or you see a lot of emails ending up in spam that you can try to improve your uh, sort of a score by just using this service because it will st start sending those positive signals to uh, Gmail and Outlook. Now, warming up your email is just one of the steps to improve your email's deliverability. To see the other seven tips, you should watch this video next, where I'll explain the industry secrets to avoid emails going to spam. 